man ever. And it says, when the demon comes out and they're slithering on the floor and he says, who are you? And he says, you know, I am the boss of the boss or I'm the queen of the what the, or whoever it is they say they are. Uh, how, how long have you had this child? Since she was born, she was given to me. And what happens is these parents go and get a spell done and they give up their child to the spirit. These are and like the more evil. These people are controlled by these demons and do not know it. Some of them are Christian. They have no idea. They've got a thing on them. Oh, it's like the Shayateen. They come in different levels. Like there, there's just nice little fire spirit gin that they're gonna cause a little mischief. But then there's like demons. There's like the Shayateen. It goes in. There, I don't know the names of all the levels of of fire spirits, but they get worse and worse. Well, yes, they do because and, and they in they draw people into heaven. lower levels of hell. Like they're gonna be even more condemned. Like like any any level of hell is just total. Like you're you're never gonna enjoy. Being existing well, it's not again. that they're going to be condemned. They were condemned. They are not of God's seed. Oh, there that's are true. Who are not going to get to heaven because they're not created for that? They were. They are Satan. They're yeah, they, they're people. the ones that they're when it Satan. when it says those who Allah has led astray, no one can guide, and those who Allah has, can guide, no one can lead astray. That's right. right. They, they're on their path, and and there's nothing you can do about it except kind of watch out for it really actually you seek refuge in a lot from a lot of these things it's like yeah, seek but refuge we also from have the to make sure that the grave if, or... if somebody that needs to be saved out of it and they can get out of it and they deserve to be out of it then they, then we give them a way out you know doctor who he always asked the demon to turn himself around you have a chance no, 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 no. Okay, you're going to be who you're going to be. Well, according to Shariah Law, you have to warn the demon like three times or something before you start attacking it with the Quran because that can kill the demon. And, and if you do kill it after warning it three times, then you get a reward in the Day of Resurrection because you enforce the law. You you know, you did what you're supposed to do. So. You enforced a law? You enforced the law, like you enforce Sharia law on a trespassing demon, like if a demon's possessing someone and you do an exorcism. It's kind of like you're policing the situation. You're like, you're getting the demon out from trespassing where it's not supposed to be, but you have to warn it three times. That's part of the law, so. Well, you know, it's interesting because that's the work I do. And it's interesting because people will say, well, you know, Jesus just came along and said, get out, and they left. No, he'd say, get out, what's your name? This is a prisoner there of you war. Go. you got to ask, you got to get some details. How many are with you? Oh. Why are you here? How are you? This is starting to ring life? a bell. Huh? Oh, I'm just saying, this is starting to, it's starting to ring a bell. Somewhere, where did the Roman Catholics fail in exorcism? Because we, we know that they sure don't, well, it's probably because they, they harvest the, demons so it's how a babylon they, church <laughs> they can't do, they can't turn against their own kingdom so i guess they can't do successfully do an exorcism can they <laughs> yeah you watch uh, this guy down the street and he's screaming bob larson screams uh not screams but you know gets up in the face of i got to look at jezebel a few weeks ago jezebel Anyway, the religious spirit's a lot more dangerous than she is, you know. I am doing this in the name of God, therefore I am right and I can kill you. Is that's Jezebel the religious religi spirit? That's religious spirit. Oh, that Jezebel's the religious spirit. Yeah, religious spirits are yes, dangerous. It's like a really bad practitioner of witchcraft or something. <laughs> What did, what did you say? She's well, it's worse than a bat. It's worse than a practitioner of witchcraft because it's like it has all this sophisticated dogma attached to it. It's like sucks. Well, it's craft because anything that is out of the will of God is black magic. It's manipulation and control. Yeah, it's just Got like it? sorcery okay. and stuff. Is... Anytime we manipulate and not do what God tells us, we just perform black magic. There you go. Do. That's a good one to throw up in our faces every once in a while. Well, we got you it on YouTube. Well, I can put it on YouTube. I have the camera on, and you just set it on camera. Uh, <laughs> no. 
Do you, want, do you want me to? Can I upload these and then I'll email them to you? Then, then maybe what? they'll get. Then maybe instead of one or two views, they'll get three views if I email it to you. <laughs> okay. Don't email it to me. But the thing about it is, though, we have to be able to dismiss and to redeem the person from the situation, so that they know they're not the same person anymore. That thing is not around them. You know, and staying in the will of God, staying in the presence of God, and what do I beg for? Oh, is this like post-exorcism post healing? Me. I want, you know, forgive me for everything I've ever done, and oh yeah, remind me of things that I really need to deal with on a different level of, yes, definitely, I do not feel that way anymore. I am not that person, get it out of me, get it off of me. So is it like if you've been possessed every day. if you've if you've had a devil for like a decade and you didn't know you had it and then you get an exorcism uh, have you ever seen where someone has to go through a lot of a healing process after an exorcism? Well, the whole point of it is no, you don't. I mean, you do in that it's more for enlightenment. You go through these uh, understanding to understanding. Uh, you you get enlightened because. The thing is not in your ear anymore. It's not oh, yeah. on your head. It's not pounding you in the gut anymore. Where, because when I took my had, shahada, you know, like the, that reminds huh? me when I took my shahada that I think the devil used to be able to like really like nag at me a lot, but now it's it's just like now it's just like the Quran says all that the devil can do is whisper in my ear now, and it it's just kind of like, and then you just kind of ward ward ordered away by seeking refuge in a law or something but it, it gets a lot more simple like somehow the devil kind of quieted down after my shahada it was like oh he he like testified that he believed in his creator now i don't have as much power over him anymore so. <laughs> 